Welcome back to another Text Chainsaw Massacre the game video. Today we have two new screenshots and a handful of updates. These two new screenshots are about escaping as a victim from the family. We've been building up to this, you know? Every screenshot to this point has been a, a stepping stone to the next part in the game. We're playing through a game in these screenshots, basically. A game within a game? Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. That's what's been happening, though. I mean, that every screenshot has been from the beginning of a match to the end of the match. We're right there at the end now, which really does mean if we get through these four escapes, there are a total of four. We have confirmation on two right here and how they work. And we kind of already know about the other two a little bit to a degree, or at least we can assume on them. But once we get through all four of those, the next step is probably metagame. Let's go. Maybe executions. Maybe we can jump to the family side because it is confirmed that all family members do have their own unique executions. So yeah. maybe we jump to that side. I don't know, but we're getting close to that metagame, which means we're getting close to that technical test, which still doesn't have a release date at this point, but it's coming soon. Yes. That's the good news. Yes. All right, let's start with the first screenshot here that shows uh, how to use the fuse. We've already seen this a little bit on the hands-on gameplay that we've seen from IGN and GameSpot and others, but basically how that little mini game you do when, when you find a fuse and put it into a fuse box, which then will open a door that will lead to an escape. All right? Mm -hmm. But uh, the tweet that came with this said, once victims find the fuse, they'll need to locate the fuse box. They'll open one of the four exits on the map. Then on top of that, Game Dev Kev, all right, one of the Sumo Nottingham developers for it, said, such a devilish feature from the Text Chainsaw Massacre dev team. When players hear the sound of the door opening, the tables are quickly turned and all hell can break loose. Are they actually trying to escape? Where are they? Is this just a distraction? I included that tweet from Game Dev Kev because I thought it was really interesting because you go through the whole process yeah. of an escape just to lure the family away. Like That's a strategy that they've been running over there. That's That could be a meta early on. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting to me. You're just making distractions, putting that fuse in there just to alert the family when really the whole time you're working on the other escape that's more likely to get all of you out in one go right. versus who knows how long these fuse ones last. Yeah, it, there's just so much complexity in this game that in strategy, yeah. which is why you know having your game chat is going to be really important, right? And yeah, your killers can't hear your victims' chat and vice versa, so you might as well just hop into game chat. Yeah, yeah, I, basically, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, okay, the mini game, like I already said, we already know how it works just based on the gameplay that once you put the fuse into the fuse box, you then do a little game that it basically, you're taking these little amps and your, these little circles that are, have a total amp number. You got to put them in the spot to add up to a certain amp number. Mm -hmm. And that you to do that two different times for full four total pieces that add up. So yeah, that it's not very difficult, a pretty simplistic little mini game, but a mini game nonetheless. And every escape will have a different type of objective and a different type of mini game, whether that's like the screenshot we'll talk about in a second, which is kind of rapid firing to make to complete your objective, or something similar to the fuse, where it's actually a, a little actual game you play. Yeah. But uh, on top of uh, the actual putting in the fuse that we're seeing from Leland here, we got Anna hiding in the in these little bushes here. And it's showing just how effective this hiding spot or things like this are going to be. This is what excites me about the game, hiding in plain sight, mm -hmm. you know, and, and being able to just hide in the darkness rather than actually getting into a cupboard or something like that. You can just get into a bush and hope for the best. Right. Because, uh, yeah, a family member might uh, might be around, see uh, see him, and he'll run away. But there's someone else hiding that can keep, uh, keep working on the objective uh, when the killers think that no one's there. Yeah, I like that. I, that was something I always liked about Dead by Daylight over F13 in that regard is the because you can't be sensed. You're not going to really be sensed in this game either. So you can just kind of hide in plain sight. And those are the, those very it can be funny while on stream or playing with others. But mm -hmm. then it's just like you're you're holding your breath. I, I love those types of moments yeah. in games like this. Um, of course, there's the heart again. We'll talk about the heart more on the next screenshot. But the other item we're seeing here, of course, uh, Anna has a, a screwdriver. Okay, as it seems. Yeah. I don't know if that works similar to a bone scrap or maybe it's to open up the fuse box. I think we saw a prompt like that earlier that you would need a screwdriver to actually open up. That sounds right, yeah. Yeah, the fuse box. But then it's the first time I think ever that we've actually seen a medical item mm -hmm. for a first aid item that you can use. So that's pretty cool. 
Yeah. First well, time. Well, moonshine, get your health back up. Yeah, it, yeah. a bottle of, of moonshine, basically. Yeah, <laughs> I believe that. I believe that. Yeah, that would heal you in the moment. <laughs> I'd feel great. <laughs> yeah, you, it'll work in the moment. <laughs> uh, okay, the next image here, another escape route here that uh, Anna's using a valve to relieve uh, the pressure. Okay, and then we see... Uh, Julie in the back in her own little blood puddle. We'll talk about that more in a second. But the tweet that came with this one, the valve handle is what victims will need to repair the pressure valve pipe. This will open yet another escape for the victims, although time is precious. And just to elaborate that on the time is precious, they responded to a couple folks here, one of which is I, Anthony D. Shout out. All right, they said, after repairing the valve, victims will need to scurry to the actual valve exit. Time will be working against victims as the exit will close after a certain amount of time. And then just to reiterate that again, another tweet that kind of expands on it. The exit will close after a certain amount of time, but the family can turn off the pressure, which will close the valve exit at a faster clip. If this happens, victims will need to return to the valve pipe to turn the pressure back on, which will reopen the exit. So, yeah, if shit goes wrong you'll be able to reopen it again yeah. and do it again. Which I think, this doesn't exactly confirm this, but I don't know, does a family have to turn off the valve in order for you to do it again? Or if you just simply don't make it and the, it wasn't the family's fault, could you still go back and do it again? I would assume so. Yeah. I but I'm just saying, so. that, that that technically wasn't confirmed right then and there, but it, it did confirm that if the family shuts it off, you can go back and turn it back on. Right. Okay? So just so you know. And then... Uh, a couple other points on this. The Fuse mini game does differ from other objective, uh, other escape objectives, yes, like this one here. And then, yes, any victim can repair the valve. The valve handle to repair it can be found somewhere on the map. I wonder how hard that's going to be to find, you know? Yeah. Yeah, is it going to be like, I doubt it. I doubt it's going to be a cross map kind of thing. I think it's going to be in the general area. Yeah, it, just at least like upstairs in the house somewhere, the yeah. family house or the slaughterhouse or right. uh, the gas station, etc. Wherever you wherever you spawn as a victim, I would assume it's just like in the next story above you. Probably. Uh, but I met I just based on the way F thirteen works and like the battery and gas and all that, you don't know where those are. You are blindly searching. You just have an you know educated guess on where they will be placed, like the corners that they can be in or behind certain boxes. I imagine that's what we'll figure out pretty quickly in TCM as well. Right. So uh, it's really interesting. But let's take a, a deeper dive into this screenshot. There's a couple things I really want to point out. First of all, Julie in her own blood puddle. This, to me, is the first confirmation that we've seen that you do leave a blood trail. So if you are injured, you need to play a little bit safer. Similar to Dead by Daylight in that way, where you could, they could tra track your blood. Right. It, I imagine that's going to be very, uh, very important in this game as well. So be careful where you're tracing blood. All yeah. Right? And I mean, maybe it's just me. I'm looking at the the first screenshot we just talked about and how, uh, how she's crouched. Yeah. And then we look at this one. It looks like her head's down, almost like she's doing something. Oh, uh, yeah. That, I, I, that's interesting. It could be nothing. It could just be a perspective thing. Um, but it, it looks like she might be like bending down, doing something. Yeah. Instead of like just literally squatting, she's actually has a knee down. Could be healing herself right now. Could be. Could be healing herself. Drinking that moonshine, as you said. As you do. Yeah. And, and as for the mini game of turning the valve, it's similar to what we've seen, like uh, pulling yourself out of a trap, like we saw in gameplay before, mm -hmm. where you rapid fire to actually turn it, but the faster you go, the more noise you're going to make, and that has been confirmed as well. Okay? Now, I want to talk about the heart on this one, because this is the first time we've seen the heart like this. It's not just a solid color. It's actually... I, I don't know if it's filling up or it's lowering, but all we've got that little bit of purple left, and then that thing is empty. So Right. Because, I mean, if you look at the health from the first screenshot we said, it's almost full. Right. And then this one, she's at uh, less than half, maybe right about half. Um, and, yeah, it's, like, purple, and it's it's very low. So I wouldn't think this would be at the start of the game. It feels like it would be something towards the end of the game. Well, yeah, especially because if you're doing an objective like this where you have to go find a part and right. whatnot. Yeah, so I, I don't, I'm still a little lost on that heart, but the way that visually looks, I'm kind of moving away from fear now. I think that might be something else. I don't know, pretty interesting. But uh, let's also take a look at the perks that we have, the, those three perks that are next to Anna right there at the bottom, one of which very closely, you know, resembles the valve that she's holding in her hands. Yes. Makes you think that that perk right there 
it'll help you speed up on that valve. Maybe that's what that refers to. Yeah, it looks like uh, she's doing a pretty good job. Like she's almost done, and her sound is less than half. So she's she's been doing it a while, or maybe the perca helps keep your sound down, or maybe your bar, your progress bar, goes faster. Yeah. Yeah, the other two perks, they've been on, we've seen these perks before. They've kind of, I think there might be like default perks. We've seen them so many times on different victims. It's just, this is the first time we kind of have an understanding of what the hell that little, that little valve thing is there. Right. So, but the other one too, because they just look like exit doors. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. Okay, don't even have a guess on those yet. They open the exit doors faster or I don't know what the, the first one and the second one looks so similar. I don't know. Yeah. One's, one's a little further away. Uh, I, I yeah, maybe no you can idea. sense it. So we, we kind of see that yellow sense that comes around one of the exit doors when uh, Leland's doing the fuse and then opens one of the doors downstairs. Right. So maybe that's kind of what that perk goes for. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, last thing I want to point out in this image, the bottle that's on top of the red crate over the left side. You think that's one of those medical bottles? Nah. Seems to you know be a solid representation of that image. Yes. So. Yeah, it has the... Uh... I don't even know what logo that is. Like, is that just like a general like nurses logo, like a hospital type generic logo? I don't know. It's kind of hard to I, tell. Because you know, my my mom's a nurse. She has that on her, you know, ID. Uh, mm. So it's like a general uh, generic hospital or healing symbol. So I I think it's safe to assume that that's uh that's our. Our health drink, our moonshine. Well, well, Anna should go grab it because she's got low health, all right? Yes, Tremendous she should. She wants to make it over to the actual exit before it closes. She's going to have to heal up a little bit. Yes. So there are two of the escapes that we know for sure how they work. The other two, I, we have some guesses because we've seen, like, the back gate to the family house and that yeah. you can, you know, undo a lock, turn off the generators. We know the generators are a huge part of it for the fences surrounding the property that they can be turned on by the family and turned off by the victims. And then you got to assume in some way, shape, or form that the front, the main road is involved. That seems too easy. Right. It seems too easy, but it could be related to being the final victim. If you're the last victim alive, you can kind of go out the that front gate towards the main road and you know, recreate that moment from the original film. Uh, we saw that in that one short trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was Connie, I think, jumps out the window and runs towards the road. Yeah. So I'm just saying, I think... I think there's, that's probably related in some way, shape, or form. But we'll probably find out in the next week or two. I hope so. So, we'll see. As for some other updates that are unrelated to the actual escapes themselves, uh, family members can collect blood from blood buckets across the map and also from striking victims with their respective weapons. We talked about the buckets before a little bit because we've seen them in the images. But this is the first time we got – I don't know if it's the first time, but this is confirmation. That that's how those blood buckets work. Mm -hmm. Families just go and collect blood straight from them, and they start out filled. And after family retrieves the blood from them, the blood buckets will refill over a small period of time. So that's one of the ways you could feed Grandpa. Just wait out those buckets. He got hungry. The fact that they start filled up is really interesting to me because you can just you go real quick, grab them. How quickly can you feed up Grandpa, man? You can level Grandpa fast as shit. Yeah, I wonder if there is some sort of cool down. Like, you can't just stand in a line like, okay, Grandpa, open yeah. up. Like, maybe he's got to, like, he's got to digest the blood, you know? Uh, yeah, that's interesting. I, I wonder if that is the case, that there is a cool down between who can actually drop the, the bottles in there into the old boy's mouth. Right, like, maybe you got to wait uh, 90 seconds, two minutes uh, before between feedings. Yeah, because you got to think. That is such a huge part of the game. Right. And that's why you can disable them with the bone shard. We talked about that last video. Mm -hmm. The... If you could do it over and over again, man, you know where the victims are so quickly? That's just crazy to me. But I haven't played it, so let's see how that, that works when it actually happens. Yeah. But I just think Grandpa's going to be so unbelievably powerful. Uh, then I just want to talk about the matchmaking cues. We already knew this, but I wanted to reiterate it again because it's come up a lot. Family and victims will have separate matchmaking cues. This applies to loading in solo or partied up with friends. Once loaded into the character selection, it's first come, first serve with no duplicates of characters. We already knew that. Uh, Obviously, I think it's a pretty obvious thing to have in a game like this. The point I want to reiterate, though, is that family and victims have their own separate matchmaking cues. So it's not like F-13 where it's preference-based or Predator. Predator had a preference-based system, but you could also just search yeah. uh, playing Predator or playing as the Hunters. Uh, but yeah, this you, you either select to play family or you select to play victims, and there's no in between. Now, that there's a risk with something like this with high long queue times. 
All right, that's that's always a risk with this. I think it's going to help though because the multiple killer thing. I think it's going to be much more approachable for people oh, that yeah. are solo queuing. A lot of people just don't like being alone. They want they want friends. Okay, they, they want help. Yeah, they want help. They want people to play with, and it's a lot of pride. Like Dead by Daylight, you know it. All right, anyone that's played Killer on Dead by Daylight, you know what that fucking stress is like, and you're just getting bullied. Oh, now you got two other boys on your back. I think people are going to be more comfortable solo queuing as a killer yeah. in the Tech Chainsaw Massacre. So. Not too worried about it, but there is always a risk with long queue times with something like that. Yeah, but it should be all right. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. And then also, uh, just to say it again, we've said it before, uh, when you Google, when is Texas Chainsaw Massacre game coming right. out? It says, March 31st, the board game's coming out. It literally says it right there. Um, <laughs> and then uh, there's some misinformation going around that people at gun have been confirming that. Right, right. Um, and actually, I believe last week... Uh, Multiple people at gun confirmed no that that is not correct. It is the board game. It should be pretty obvious, dude. It's mid March <laughs> right now, and we don't have the technical test. There's no tech test, no pre orders. There's no pre order. Yeah, none of it. So it should be pretty obvious, self explanatory. But you know, some people that are, are kind of just watching from afar just don't know. Yes. So just to reiterate, yeah, it's not it's not coming out March 31st. <laughs> that is the board game. If you want to get your hands on that, though, you can. It's yeah. available. Go buy it. It's coming out soon. I'm gonna buy. Yeah. I think I already have it pre ordered. I think I did too. Yeah. So. Play that soon, maybe. March All those board games are kind of been the same, though. Yeah, it's like reskinning those horror board games. But but the the uh, the cover looks so good. Yeah. You gotta. I get them just to display them, really. Yeah, true. <sighs> kind of the my, my bloody Valentine ones right there. Yeah, right on screen. <laughs> no. Okay, well, that's going to wrap up this update for the Tech Chainsaw Massacre. If you want to see more in the future, make sure you subscribe. Turn notifications on. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you drop a like. Let us know in the comments below what you think the next escape is. Huh? What is escape you to go for the most? I, I'm, I, I, man, what's going to be the meta? I just already thinking of metas, trying to prepare myself. Huh? Somebody asked, by the way, about camping, one of the exits. Of course, it's a bad idea. There's four ex there's four escapes, three killers. You can't just camp one. That'd be a bad idea. Yeah. Be smart. Huh? All right, with that, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.